And towards the end of the night, our willpower tends to dwindle away. We tend to look for... Right now I'm holding 15 pound dump. For example, if you come from a family that struggle with obesity, the habit to, when you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what aspect or what goals you go after, you're gonna tackle it because you know you can achieve it. All right, okay. My business probably um, I'm gonna tell you. Right now I'm gonna show you a quick routine that you can incorporate into your gym regimen. If you don't have a gym membership or you just want some variety in your workout routine, this is another way to incorporate resistance training to help to build muscle mass, which essentially just brings out that natural, beautiful curvature that you already have. So right now, we're right here at the bleachers, one of my favorite spots to be. It challenges me, again, cardio, resistance. It's some, both, you need both in order for you to see results. I'm wearing a 10 pound vest to add resistance to this workout. Just adjusting the straps so it won't slide while I'm training. I'm just gonna go up, do five sets, then come back down. Five sets up. Going up and down is one set. That's one. I'm honestly shocked that people still want to know what this is good for. Sea Moss Secure is a mixture of organic algae. You have your sea moss. You have your bladder rack and your burdock root. All is essentially important for detoxing. 92 minerals that our body needs to function properly, this has it. I'm getting tons of reviews. People are seeing or benefiting their hair, their skin, their nails, their weight. You know, losing weight, energy levels have increased drastically. So definitely don't take my word for it. Visit Upo Nutriment, read the honest reviews, and let's get back to it. Heart rate's going up, calves are starting to burn, quads are being activated. Let's get it. This right here is great for glutes, quad activation. Your glutes are your bum, quads, the front of your thighs, and it challenges you for you to be a better runner. Lunges in, up. It's just skipping every other step, going up, balancing. This is one of my favorite workouts, these field workouts. This is how I toned up without the gym initially, and then going to the gym to add external resistance really to shape my body. Let me breathe this out. Right now, former walks helps to really train the upper body. Ladies, please do not neglect the upper body. This training upper body accentuates the body silhouette. So this is one form of doing that, using former walks. Former walks is a compound movement. It trains your forearm, your traps, shoulders, and that is what's going to help the overall appearance of our silhouette. Whew. So I'll do about three sets of this, and in between each set, I'll rest about 20 to 30 seconds and get right back to it. Right now I'm holding 15 pound dumbbells on each side. It's challenging. The essential part about working out the lower body is that it really challenges you in a way that you're burning more calories and essentially you're revving up the metabolism because the lower body, our legs, have the majority of our muscles in our body. So. I said that multiple times, but you get what I'm saying. I have a 40 pound dumbbell here. I'm gonna perform some goblet squats. Let's go. When you do these, 
I have to give you some cues as far as form. Make sure you keep the core tight. Knees doesn't go over the toes. Hips goes back. Squat, come back up. Welcome back to another video. Right now, I'm gonna talk about the mental and physical aspects of reaching a health goal. Often, the mental aspects tend to get overlooked, but this part of it is so important. It controls the way we think, the way we move, um, the choices that we make. And if we can't tackle the mental aspect of when it comes to reaching a health goal, everything else can kind of fall apart. So let's focus more on the brain and what's going on up here psychologically. The brain is a complex organ. It controls our thoughts, memory, touch, hunger, motor skills, our emotions, temperature, our prefrontal cortex. Let's go into our prefrontal cortex, which is the rational aspect of our brain. This really just helps to control more so our habits. The more we focus on keeping a healthy regimen and obtaining healthy habits, the stronger our prefrontal cortex gets. The more we engage in impulsive behaviors, as far as like if it's scrolling through your phone, or if it's like, you know, you know, during weekends when we enjoy our cheat meals and we overindulge, or anything that involves an impulsive behavior, it weakens the prefrontal cortex. So right now, when it comes to a health goal, our goal is to strengthen the rational side of our brain and to make sure that we're creating habits on a daily basis that's going to build mental discipline in order for us to stay consistent. Some may think that this may sound boring, like how can I just focus more so on just mental discipline? Discipline is such a scary word. Yeah, because a lot of people tie discipline to a lot of negative things, but you waking up in the morning to brush your teeth and wash your face, you're on air pilot mode, but that's discipline in itself. It doesn't seem boring to be consistent with that regimen because you understand how important it is. But again, we have to train ourselves. And once we're going through a new training phase, it requires a lot of work and effort. Let's focus on our willpower. Our willpower is the strongest first thing in the morning. So when we hop up out the bed, do our routine, don't think about it, go to the gym, prepare your breakfast, brush your teeth, fix your bed, whatever habits it is that you have to create a regimen to keep your brain active, it's the strongest in the morning. And towards the end of the night, our willpower tends to dwindle away. We tend to look for activities to get into that may not be conducive to our goal because of the stresses that we deal with on a daily basis. It could be, you know, from work, children, family, school. So we tend to go for uh, foods that's going to release that serotonin, that feel good hormone. And we overindulge and before we know it, we're in a situation that we tend to regret often. Towards the end of the night, we need to make sure that we have healthier options readily available to us because we know our habits, we know what we're gonna get into. So we're gonna have some fruits, some nuts, some healthier choices of protein, natural choices of protein. These are the options that we need to have that are readily available to us. That way we don't go off into the deep end and continue a cycle of self-sabotage. Wanna make sure that we're putting things in play that way we don't just go off course and have our confidence just take a downfall. Let's talk about our lifestyle choices and how lifestyle choices trumps genetics. We can't continue to uh, indulge in poor habits and use our genetics as an excuse. It can be either good or bad. For example, if you come from a family that struggle with obesity, the habit to Prioritize going on a walk may not be something that your family may do on a regular basis. Or in, in another example is that we can talk about glutes. Some women, they come from a family line that may not have larger glutes and may feel like they can't obtain that. But the habits that you engage in, making sure that you're lifting heavier, making sure that you're taking adequate amount of protein, the type of supplement, and even with bringing in your waistline, will help to give your body that contrast. Back, up, core tight. 
One tip that I really suggest that we should work on is our self-belief. Self-belief is completely different from self-confidence. When you're a person that's highly confident in an area, you're confident in a specific area. It doesn't mean that you're confident to try any and everything. You may be confident in your looks and you may be confident in your skill or a task or whatever it may be. As people, we tend to neglect the self-belief aspect because there's a wide range of reasons to why. When you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter what aspect or what goals you go after, you're gonna tackle it because you know you can achieve it. Self-belief is going to be priority when you need to reach a goal because believing in yourself, working on skills to help you to believe in yourself is gonna put you in the forefront to make healthier choices, to make to reach your goals, and to be a better individual overall. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to visit UpholdNutriment.com. The CMOS Secure is restocked, so get it before we sell out again. And I'll see you guys next time.